Okay, we are back. Right now, what I'm working towards is increasing our UPS here. And that means I have to lower some of these numbers here. So, I'm mainly looking at the power system, which is basically all of the solar and the wind uh, stuff that I have. And then, from that, I'm also working on reducing the amount of splitters that we have in this game. As well as storage. I can do both at the same time. So that's what I want to work towards. Speaking of splitters, I do have a lot of these things in our old versions of the Fractionator loop, so I want to get rid of these things. And what planet am I on? Okay, I'm in our number four of our hub system. The first hub system. So I'm going to need some Fractionators in here. And I do believe I am bringing them over here. Yeah, so that's something I should do. I'm going to start removing like these older Fractionator loops and then replacing them with new ones. I just need a spot for this. At this point, I think for this planet, I only need one. Alright, um, Fractionator loop. We can put one over here. I, actually, we can't. Oh god, we can't. It, wait a minute. I already put the new Fractionator loops here. So, never mind. We just need to get rid of the old ones. And I believe we also need to get rid of these older, uh, what's it called? Oh, what were you called? The MK3 proliferators. Did I put down a blueprint for- yes, I did. Is this the newer one? It's like I forget. Oh, I'm supposed to remove the splitters and the uh, whatever it's called. The splitters and the storage. Like, I'm already forgetting the terminology here, but I did it with this one. I need to do the same thing with this one over here. Did I get rid of this splitter? Okay, so get rid of this. Let's so I'm thinking I should just delete a lot of this stuff and just no, don't try to save it. Just remove it completely and then replace it with like fresh stuff. Because in the last play session, it's like I was spending an enormous amount of time just like trying to save resources that are scattered on the ground. I should just like uh, delete them and replace them with new stuff. I should have the resources to replace them anyway. So anyway, that's what this looks like. So now we're going to start removing some of this older production here. Oh, it lags a lot when I do this. That's okay, though. And then these older Fractionator loops, we're gonna get rid of those as well. And it does seem wasteful that I'm just gonna get rid of these Fractionators and then replace them with new ones, but it's so much easier just to do this. I should also get rid of these older, like, solar and wind power generators. I do have solar suns here at this point, so 
Should matter. Just need to make sure I reconnect these things to power. So I'm going to be doing a lot of this in this play session, probably next few play sessions because I don't want to be doing this like all the time, you know what I mean? Now this is the fractionator loop that I want to keep because it doesn't have the splitters. Okay, what's next? Uh, then we have these MK2s over here. We're deleting that as well. Yeah, I know it's a waste of MK3s. Whatever. So get back to these logistic stations. Oh yeah, I do need to connect these back to power because when I remove like these blueprints, I'm also removing like uh, their connections to the rest of the planet. Flight mode. To figure out like. What else I need to do here? Okay, we can get rid of these fractionator loops at this point. Maybe some of this production? Maybe? Uh, is this deposit done? Kind of looks like it. Like, I never realized when I first started this game, I never realized that storage and splitters take up, like, a lot of calculations. So, just gonna fix that. A little bit at a time, though. Then, we also need to connect this back up to power. And these fractionator loops are pretty much done at this point. Actually, you know what? They're still draining the hydrogen here, so we'll just keep that going. Okay, so how's our power at this point? Actually, power is still good. Light mode. And I think... Yeah, I think I'll, all of this is good at this point. It's done cleaning up this section. Cruise mode. Oh yeah, one, one other thing. I also need to increase our production of frame materials. And it looks like this has a pretty decent amount of uh, carbon nanotubes at this point. So we can actually start making more of the frame materials here. 
flight mode. Okay, where are you, frame materials? And that's a great thing about uh, cleaning this place up is that I can now replace it with new stuff that I actually need. Mineral and depleted. this area over here needs found any foundations. Now I'm remembering why I hate this planet. It's like foundations suck. Wait a minute. Oh, we're supplying frame materials from this planet. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Is this a new thing? Priority settings. Point to point pairs. Interesting. Priority for stations in this same group. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn more about this. But for the time being, I think we should just like leave it as is. Like I'm gonna have to figure that out later on because I have other stuff I need to do. But anyway. And what I do want to do is ship out these frame materials. So these frame materials will be shipped out to other systems at this point. We still have the MK1s for the solar sails here. I kind of feel like I should be throwing these away just to get rid of the storages, but you know, leave it as is. You know, I probably should upgrade these buildings here. What? Oh, right. Let's try it this way. Just so that this goes faster. Okay, so at the very least, we're shipping out more frame materials wherever it needs to go. And I think we can... We can leave this as it is for the time being. I'm just gonna hold off on this, uh, refraction... These three fractionator loops. Uh, just until it's depleted. Anyway, we do have a lot of other stuff we need to get rid of. Hub 2 is where we're producing purple science and a bunch of other stuff. We did put down a lot of solar sails over here, so... Warp engine deactivated. Or not solar sails, solar panels. And wind turbines, like... Yeah, it's not efficient for solar power, so what I want to do... Is just... Bring on uh, the artificial suns here. And wait a minute. Oh, okay, so this is storage because it's actually feeding into this thing over here. getting rid of these uh, depleted mining machines and we don't need the, the storage at this point
Okay, um, we need to get our stellar logistics station over here. Oh, I guess you're depleted. And we'll get our antimatter in here. Well, technically, we don't really need to power this up or whatever. Just for consistency, we'll power this up. I think this should be good enough for the time being. And once these are all connected, we can start getting rid of the solar panels. Light mode. Like, we'll just keep the ones on the equator, but these bulky areas, solar panels, like, we need to get rid of them. Just gotta be careful around here. I don't want to dismantle the conveyor belts. Like, yeah, I spent a huge amount of time putting these down just so I'd have more power, but at this point, we don't really need this amount of power. Well, actually, yeah, we do need this amount of power, just not this amount of buildings producing power. Let's try to rely more on the antimatter. This will hopefully reduce the amount of calculations needed for power on this planet. Give me back my UPS. In hindsight, I probably should have, like, went to antimatter, like, sooner. Because I did put down these solar panels, like, relatively recently. Okay, this looks depleted. It looks like I have an opportunity to replace these three smelting blueprints with uh, one 
more efficient one. All right, let's just, let's just power this up again. Yeah, this is like a really old one. It doesn't even use the MK2s or the proliferators. clean this up right now. Okay, so this is iron ore. That's depleted. probably do need like another thing for coal at this point as well. Light mode. Okay, so let's just get this one coal deposit here. connect it this way. Uh, yeah, just do it like this. Fractioneer. This is a fractioneer loop. Actually, it's one of the newer ones, but this is using splitters, so we do have to replace it. Okay, we'll put a fractionator loop somewhere over here. Wait, there's... This needs foundation. Right, I need... I forgot, I was supposed to get foundations. And it was, it's right here. So now I gotta burn this stuff off because I took a whole bunch of it. Let's just pave this entire area. Get rid of the water. Probably gonna use this area later, so might as well.
Okay. Now we can put the blueprint down. And this will get rid of another uh, 60... Is it 60 splitters? I should check. 120s. So one of these splitters had two fractionators. So yeah, it's 60 splitters. this thing and then we'll replace it with this oh we're down to seven artificial suns at this point So I did say I was going to replace the smelters here uh, with iron ingots. This blueprint right here. just gonna move our deuterium here so we're gonna need pile sorters and the logistics thingamabobs okay pile sorters and then did we have the logistics things Okay, I might as well just call some more, just so I don't have to move from this planet. we we'll do the same thing with, uh, what's its face? Silicone. And also with coal, I believe. Yeah, we're turning it into graphite, so that way I can remove these things. And since I'm here, you know what? I might as well just call the logistics bots as well. We need two stacks of these things. Okay, so they are within range. Now, where is the bots coming from? Okay, it's over there. So, I'm gonna do another thing for our graphite here.
Just need to copy and paste this stuff. Oh yeah, and before I forget, this does need drones. Oh, there's like no more iron ore on this planet. So we can actually dismantle that. Oops. So we're going to change this to coal and change this to graphite. I'll put in the drones later. Need to finish changing these around. Okay, all of this is graphite. And I'll need to check to see if this is working, but what I need to do is dismantle this thing. Yeah, so there's no more iron ore on this planet, so having this smelter here is useless. This fractionator loop over here. Uh, where does the deuterium go? Wait, were we shipping this stuff out? I don't normally do that because deuterium... The things that need deuterium need lots of it. So, I have no idea. Wasn't there like uh, interstellar logistics stations over here somewhere? No? Oh, yeah. So we can't really do anything with this. All right. I'm just going to destroy this thing. Yeah, like, it's much easier just to waste the resources because we always get them back at some point. No sense spending the time just to try and preserve it. Because it really is just more trouble than it's worth at this point. this back up okay so we have both our graphite production and our silicon production
And yeah, everything is working, so let's switch over this production here. And we're using the plane smelters for this. Okay, everything looks good. Two storages and two splitters. Okay, there we go. Okay, so all we have to do now is dismantle our silicone here. That is a lot of silicone though. Probably should just like bring it over here. Except we can't. Alright, let's get rid of it. Okay, let's just bring the ore over here. I'm gonna get rid of this huge section of wind and solar. Even though every single windmill and solar panel doesn't actually take much and as far as calculations are concerned, keep in mind that I do have a lot of these. So I do have to get rid of them. And this thing's depleted. I think we can also get rid of our storage as well, because that does take up some calculations too. 